Hello dear students, this is grade 11 mathematics lesson on unit 9 further on trigonometric functions. This chapter is designed for natural science students only. So today we focus on graph of trigonometric functions. So after completing this lesson you are expected to draw the graph of the function the form f of x is equal to a sin x g of x equals to a cos x and f of x equals to sin kx and cos kx g of x equals to cos kx. In addition to this, you are expected to determine uh, the amplitude and period of some trigonometric functions. So let's continue to the lesson. Okay. So first, let's see graph of f of x equals to a sine x and g of x equals to a cos x. Now, uh, let's try to draw the graph of y is equals to sine x. y is equals to half of uh, sine x and y is equals to minus 2 sine x for the interval from 0 to up to 2 pi. So to draw the graph, first let's prepare a table for this function. Okay, when you prepare a table, you have this form. Dividing this x uh, on the interval from 0 to 2 pi by dividing into uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 parts. The first part 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. So using this, uh, we can find the functional value of f of x. For f of x is equal to sine x, f of x is equal to sine x, sine 0 is it is 0, and sine 90 is it is 1, and sine pi is 0, sine 3 pi over 2 is minus 1, and sine 2 pi is 0. Again, Let's prepare for the other part for f x equals to half of sine x. This means this half times uh, the value of sine x. So half times 0 is this 0, and half times 1 is this half, and half times 0 is this 0, and half times negative 1 is negative 1 over 2, and half times 0 gives you 0. Again, uh, for f x equals to minus 2 sine x so minus 2 times the value of sine is 0 here so minus 2 times 0 is this 0 minus 2 times 1 is this minus 2 minus 2 times 0 is this 0 minus 2 times minus 1 it is 2 and minus 2 times 0 it is 0 so using this table we can draw uh, the graph of this uh, trigonometric function on the interval 0 to 2 pi uh, on same coordinate okay now let's draw the graph here. We have one here, two, negative one, negative two, and so on. Let's divide x axis, this x axis. 
by pi over 2. We have pi over 2 here. And next to pi over 2, we have pi. Next to pi, we have 3 pi over 2. And then we have 2 pi. So when to do the graph of time, when the value of x is 0, the functional value of sine it is 0 here. When it is pi over 2, its functional value is 1, we have here. And when uh, at pi, its functional value is t0. And at 3 pi over 2, its functional value is t negative 1. So using this, you have this graph. This is a graph of sine function, f of x equals to sine x. So to draw the graph of uh, f of x equals to half of sine x, uh, let's use this same table. For x is equal to 0, the functional value of half of sine x is this, uh, 0. So we have here, and at pi over 2, half of sine x is half. So we have half here. And at pi, its functional value is 0. We have 0 here. And at 3 pi over 2, its functional value is minus half. And at 2 pi, it's 0. Therefore, the graph will be in this form. This is the graph of f of x is equal to uh, half sine x. This one is a graph of f x equals to half sine x. And to draw the graph of y is equal to negative 2 sine x using this same table. When the value of x is 0, 2 sine x is 0. You have here, when the value of x is pi over 2, it will be negative 1 over 2 here, pi over 2. When it is pi over 2, its value is this, negative 2. When it's at pi over 2, it's negative 2. At pi, it is 0. At pi, is this, 0. And at 3 pi over 2, the functional value of 2 sine x is 2. At 3 pi over 2, it is, it is 2 here. And at 2 pi, it is 0. Therefore, when you draw the graph, you'll have this one. This is a graph of f of x is equal to uh, negative 2 sine negative 2 sine x. So this is how to draw the graph of a uh, trigonometric function. Now let's continue to the other part. Okay, here we are asked to draw the graph of y is equal to cos x y is equal to minus 3 cos x and y is equal to 1 over 3 cos x on the same coordinate system for the interval from 0 to 2 pi. So to draw this, let's prepare a table. So on this interval table, for x 0 pi over 2, so divide the interval x by pi over 2. So starting from 0, 0, pi over 2 is the next one. Add pi over 2, you get pi. And add pi over 2, you get 3 pi over 2, and so on. 2 pi. Uh, and let's determine the functional value of each. Uh, for f of x is equal to cosine of x. Cos 0 is its 1. Cos 90 is 0. Cos pi is minus 1. Cos 3 pi over 2 is 0. Cos 2 pi is this 1. For 1 over 3 cos x, uh, multiply the value of cos x by 1 over 3 simply. So 1 over 3 times 1 is 1 over 3. 1 over 3 times 0 is this 0. And 1 over 3 times minus 1 is minus 1 over 3. 1 over 3 times 0 it is 0. 1 over 3 times 1 is this 1 over 3. Similarly, for fx equals to minus 3 cos x, multiply the 
cos x value by minus 3. Therefore, minus 3 times 1 is this minus 3. Minus 3 times 0 is 0. Minus 3 times minus 1 is positive 3. Minus 3 times 0 is 0. Minus 3 times 1 minus 3. So after preparing this table, we can draw the graph. So let's see the graph. This is x-axis and y-axis. Uh, so let's divide this part. 1, 2, up to 3. And here, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And the division here, we have pi over 2 here. Next to pi over 2, we have pi. Next to pi, we have 3 pi over 2. And then we have 2 pi here. So for cos x, when it is 0, cos 0, it is 1. We have here, we have this point. And cos 90, it is 0. We have this point. And cos pi is minus 1. We have this point here. And cos 3 pi over 2, it is 0. And we have this point. Cos 2 pi is this 1. So we have this point, 1 here. So connecting this point, you will have this graph. OK, so this is a graph of f of x is equal to cos x on 0 to 2 pi. So this it is f of x is equal to cosine of x. Now let's draw f of x equals to 1 over 3 cos x. 1 over 3 cos x. For x equals 0, it is 1 over 3, almost 1 over 3 here. When it is at 90, it is 0. At 90 degrees, it is 0. And at pi, its value is negative 1 over 3. At pi, its value is this, almost negative 1 over 3, near to here. And at 3 pi over 2, it is 0. At 3 pi over 2, it is 0. And at 2 pi, it is 1 over 3. At 2 pi, 1 over 3, almost here. Therefore, connecting this point, you will have this one. This is a graph of this. Uh, f of x is equal to, f of x equals to 1 over 3 cos x. 1 over 3 cosine of x. So let's draw the graph of f of x equals to minus 3 cos x. So when x is 0, it's minus 3. When x is 0, it is minus 3 here. And when x is 90 degrees, it is 0. We have this point. And when x is pi, it is 3. At pi, here. When x is 3 pi over 2, its functional value is 0. At 3 pi over 2, it is 0. And at 2 pi, its functional value is this, minus 3. At 2 pi, it is minus 3. Minus 3 almost here. So connecting this point, you will have this graph. It passes through this point and then this part. So this will be this, the graph of, and it continues. This will be this, the graph of f of x is equal to if x equals to minus 3 cos x minus 3 cosine of x. So generally for the function f of x is equal to a sine x and j of x equals to a cos x, 
the amplitude is this uh, it is absolute value of a this amplitude is absolute value of a and the period is it is 2 pi uh, and the range is this from minus a to a we can see this uh, from the graph look for f of x is equal to 1 over 3 called x its uh, maximum peak is it is 1 over 3 and the minimum peak is it is negative 1 over 3 so the range of this f of x equals to 1 over 3 cos x is varies from negative 1 over 3 up to 1 over 3 and this amplitude will be this 1 over 3 this coefficient this coefficient uh, similarly you can check for the other and when you see the period the period uh, of this function it repeats itself after 2 pi we have 0 here and this point repeats itself after 2 pi therefore the period of f of x equals to cos x f of x equals to 1 over 3 cos x f of x equals to minus 3 cos x any f of x equals to a cos x its period is it is 2 pi and the amplitude is this coefficient and the range varies from minus 1 over 3 up to 1 over 3 therefore therefore for the function of the form a sine x and a cos x the amplitude of the graph is it is absolute value of this coefficient and uh, the period is it is 2 pi it's a period is 2 pi it, it repeats itself after every 2 pi and the range uh, varies from minus a up to a so this is it now let's continue to the next part the graph of f of x is equal to sine kx and g of x is equal to cos kx so let's see the graph of these two functions on same coordinate plane draw the graph of f of x is equal to sine x and f of x is equal to sine 2x uh, to draw the graph of this first let's prepare a table so look this table assume 2x divide 2x on interval of pi over 2 2x start from 0 0 pi over 2 pi 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi and then we can find the interval for x so the interval for x will be dividing these values by 2 so when you divide this by 2 it is 0 by 2 pi over 4 this will be pi over 2 this will be 3 pi over 4 and 2 pi divided by 2 it is pi and then we can determine the functional value of sine 2x sine 2x means sine 2x is this one sine 0 is 0 sine pi over 2 it is 1 sine pi is 0 sine 3 pi over 2 it is minus 1 and sine 2 pi it is 0 we have this now we can draw this uh, on graph so we have this division pi over 2 pi 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi between pi over 2 and 0 we have pi over 4 pi over 4 and between these two we have 3 pi over 4 we have 3 pi over 4 here 3 pi over 4 and then between pi and 3 pi over 2 simply we can add pi over 4 on pi uh, so we have this one pi plus pi over 4 we have 5 pi over 4 here 5 pi over 4 and 3 pi over 2 between these two 3 pi over 2 plus pi over 4 uh, so 3 pi over 2 plus 3 pi over 2 plus pi over 4 some of these two 7 pi over 4 we'll have 7 pi over 4 here 
7 pi over 4 and so on. So the graph of sine 2x, the graph of sine 2x, we can see the graph of sine x first if you wish. So let me put here, we have 1 here, minus 1, minus 1, one and minus one we have these two points when at zero sine is zero so we have this point at pi over two sine value is one we have this point at pi it is zero at three pi over two is minus one and at two pi it is zero therefore the graph of, we have already drawn this, the graph of time function is, it has this form. This is the graph of f of x is equal to sine x. Now let's draw the graph of f of x equals to sine to x. At 0 it is 0. And when x is pi over 4, so we are taking the value of x. At x, it is 0. At pi over 4, its functional value is 1. At pi over 4, its functional value is 1 here. And at pi over 2, it is 0. And at 3 pi over 4, minus 1. At 3 pi over 4, it is minus 1. We have minus 1 here. At pi, it is 0. When x is pi, its functional value is 0. Therefore, the graph will have this form. And it continues. So the graph of this one is it is the graph of f of x equals to sine 2x. To Therefore, to find, to find the period of this one, its period, as said, it repeats itself after pi. So to find this period, simply you divide 2 pi by this number. If you divide 2 pi by this, you get pi. As you can see from the graph, this f x equals to sine 2x repeats itself after pi link. Therefore, this period is pi. Simply you can uh, calculate this period uh, dividing 2 pi by this coefficient. By this coefficient. Uh, and its range uh, doesn't change. The range is from minus 1 up to 1. It's minus 1 up to 1. Its amplitude also it is 1. So now let's continue. Let's see the graph of this one. Draw the graph of f of x equals to cos x and f of x equals to cos of half of x on same coordinate system. So to draw the graph, let's prepare a table here. For half of x, we have here half of x, so let's scale this by pi over 2. So for half of x, 0 pi over 2 pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi, we have this one. And when x, if half of x is 0, then x to find x, you divide this by 2. Therefore, uh, we have half of x is uh, 0 pi over 2 pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. So to find x, you multiply this by 2 to find x. So multiplying by 2, you have 0 here. When you multiply this pi, when you multiply this by uh, 2, it is 2 pi. This one, it is 3 pi. When you multiply this by uh, 2, you will have 4 pi. And uh, f of x is equal to cos of half of x will be this. For x equals 0, is 1. For x equals 2 pi, it is 0. For 2 pi, minus 1. And for 3 pi it is 0, and for 4 pi it is 1. So we can draw the graph of fx called cos x uh, using this value. Let's draw it. Uh, we have x here and y. Divide this by 0 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, and 4 pi. We have pi here, 2 pi, 3 pi and 4 pi. So we have 1 and minus 1 here. When x is 0, 
its functional value is 1. Here, when x is pi, its functional value is this, 0. The functional value of fx equals to cosine of half x. So uh, for, for x is pi, it is 0. We have this 1. For x to pi, we have negative 1. We have this point. And for x to pi, it is 0. And for x is equal to 4 pi, for x equals to 4 pi, its value is 1. Therefore, the graph will be this form. Uh, this is a graph of it is f of x is equal to cosine of cosine of 1 over 2 the cosine of 1 over 2x so from this you can see that this graph repeats itself on length of 4 pi on length of 4 pi so its period is 4 pi and you can easily also find its period by using this equation if you divide 2 pi by the coefficient here, 1 over 2, you get this, 4 pi. You get 4 pi. So the period of this function is this, 2 pi over this number, it will be 4 pi. Uh, and its range is this, varies from negative 1 to 1, and its amplitude is this 1. Uh, this is it. Now let's continue. So generally, the period of the function f of x is equal to sine kx is it is, 2 pi over absolute value of k. Simply you divide 2 pi by the coefficient here. By the coefficient here. By the coefficient this one. And similarly, the period of fx is equal to cosine of kx also. It is uh, 2 pi over absolute value of this coefficient. This is it. Okay. Graph of f of x is equal to a sine kx and g of x equals to a cos kx. Uh, so, the period and amplitude of f of x is equal to a sine kx and a cos kx is its period for this one simply 2 pi over k. For this one also it is 2 pi over absolute value of k. Their period is this uh, 2 pi over absolute value of k. And the amplitude of this graph is also it is absolute value of a or the coefficient so uh, their amplitude is absolute value of a respectively so here we are asked to draw the graph of y is equal to 2 sine 3x to draw the graph prepare a table taking 3x uh, by taking or by dividing uh, the scale by pi over 2 for 3x 3x 0 pi over 2 pi, 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi. From this, you can find the scale for x. So divi dividing this by 3, you get 0 pi over 6, pi over 3. This becomes this, pi over 2 and this, 2 pi over 3. And then you will have the functional value here. It is 0, 2, minus 0, minus 2, and 0. So uh, you can draw the graph for this. You can draw the graph for this uh, like this. You have this one. So the scale for x is this one, 0. You will have 0 here and here, pi over 6, pi over 6, next to pi over 6, pi over 3, pi over 3 scale. And then pi over 2, pi over 2, and we have 2 pi over 3. 2 pi over 3. So we have this point is here, minus 1, minus 2. Uh, the functional value this, at 0, at zero it is 0, at 0 it is 0. And at power 6 it is 2, at power 6 it is 2. And at power 3 it is 0. And at power 2 it is minus 2. At power 2 its functional value it is minus 2. And at 2 power 3 it is zero so connecting this you have this graph this one it's a graph of it is f of x is equal to two 
sine 2 sine 3x. As you can see from this, the amplitude of this graph it is 2. Simply you take the coefficient, absolute value of 2. And as you can see, uh, its period, its period is this. From 0, it repeats at 2 pi over 3. It is 2 pi over 3. Its period is 2 pi over 3. Or simply you can take 2 pi over this coefficient. It is 2 pi divided by 3. It is 2 pi over 3. So this is a graph of uh, f of x is equal to 2 sine. Okay. So to summarize what we have seen today, for the function f of x is equal to a sine x and g of x equal to a cot x, the amplitude is the coefficient, its absolute value of a, and the period is this to pi, and its range varies from minus a up to a. And for uh, the function f of x is equal to a sine kx and a cot x, their amplitude it is absolute value of this one. It is absolute value of a, and uh, the period is this two pi over over k. So this is it. This is all about today's lesson. So uh, I'll give you exercise for you to try. Uh, please try uh, these questions and uh, not on this one. Please read examples on page three hundred sixty one up to three hundred sixty seven to know more. So this is all about today's lesson. Until next class, goodbye.